Hey there, how's it going? Going okay here. I'm concerned about YouTube's newer policies that they're going to be implementing and stuff that they've already implemented. They've deleted tens of thousands of channels. They've deleted millions of videos. They've deleted a lot of comments. And, uh, you know, if older videos, which were, o were considered okay before, aren't considered okay by the new standards, they're still going to delete those videos. They're still going to flag those videos. So something I, I made 10 years ago could get flagged, right? They're, they talk about the four R's. Remove. Remove content that violates our policy as quickly as possible. Raise. Raise up authoritative voices when people are looking for breaking news and information, which basically means if there is a story that's that mainstream media talks about, if you try to search that story on YouTube, all you're going to run across are authoritative sources like CNN, MSNBC, CBS News, etc., right? I mean, you'll have to go pages and pages and pages before you'll run into uh, ind independent creators talking about those subjects, right? They say reward. Reward trusted, eligible creators and artists. Well, okay. Well, we can tell what that means. Then they've got reduce. Reduce the spread of content that brushes right up against our policy line. And uh, some of their, their upcoming uh, policies include what they're going to consider harassment. And the harassment could just simply be someone making response videos, and that concerns me a lot. You know, at what point is a response video considered harassment? Does this, does this mean that all response videos are, are you know, are, are no longer something people are able to make? You know, I'm concerned. And, uh... There are a lot of videos that I've been I've been going through in privating, but I don't even think keeping things on private is that safe from their algorithms. Because someone, I mean, because I could go through and unprivate them, uh, relist them at any time. So they're likely going through all of the videos. So I've got over three thousand two hundred videos on YouTube, and I'm probably going to be deleting at least a few hundred. Um, so, for a number of reasons, um, some of them are all those, those, uh, when I, fat and shirtless videos that I made that could be interpreted as, I don't know, promoting nudity on YouTube, right? And uh, yeah, I, I don't need to have that there. Um, I'm kind of ashamed of some of those videos as well. But there, there's just a whole bunch of videos where I, I discuss things in very, caustic ways and I don't want a chance keeping them up I'd rather my I delete them than to have YouTube YouTube delete them and then get a strike against my channel because you get three strikes you're out so yeah I, I'm going through and and getting rid of a number of my older videos so it disappoints me a lot but I feel it's something I need to do and I think a lot of content creators, as they learn more about YouTube's policies, are going to be doing the same thing. Lots of removing of content. Because we'd rather stay on the platform. I, I don't want to be, uh, I don't want my channel terminated. So I'm going to do what I can to keep my channel. So, <sighs> anyway. <sighs> Wish us all luck, right? As I've already stated before, you know, I think, I think in about a year, within a year or so, I'm betting that YouTube is going to just basically remove comment sections altogether from, uh, from YouTube. Just basically, uh, get rid of comments. I think that's what's going to happen. I'm, I'm guessing by November of 2020. 
And then I, I won't have very much reason to make videos except for, you know, maybe some of the walking videos, maybe, and, uh, and maybe music videos. And then I'd have to, uh, if I want any sort of discussion, I'd have to go to a different platform. Now, yeah, BitChute is not a place to have discussion. It's, it's filled with so many of the people who have been kicked off YouTube for being too caustic and also for being, uh, well, I mean, it's, BitChute is definitely filled with a lot of white nationalists and white supremacists and just, just the, the most bigoted on the internet is, it, it's like, it's like the 8chan, 4chan of video sharing sites as far as the comment sections so that's not a place where i'm going to have reasonable discussion and you can't curate your own comment sections either there's nothing you can do you have no control at all so you know if that happens if 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 you know i, I have to move to a different platform it, as far as something to have discussions on it would most likely be vimeo vimeo has some strict guidelines too but they're not but at least they still have comments. So, you know, hopefully I won't have to do any of this. Hopefully I'm wrong about my prediction of, of Google getting rid of comments on YouTube. Hopefully I'm wrong, but I doubt it. We'll just have to see what happens. I am disappointed, though, that I feel that I have to delete a lot of my videos. But got to do what you got to do, right?